treat the white a white person. Go back to Romans 12. You, no, man. no, fuck that. I'm going to show you. you no, 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 no. Everything I'm going to answer, the way I live, is a I'm I believe it comes a point in every man's life where he need to sit down and examine himself. And see, is he living in accordance to God's word to Jesus Christ? For me personally, the streets really mess my mind up, so it's a whole lot of things. Now I'm allowing God to take out of my mind that has plagued and polluted for so many years. You understand? I was tired of living so foul. The fast money was my lifestyle. Let's go inside of the mind of a
All these lies that's been told to our people, we got to come out here and tell our people they've been lied to. All these different lies that's been put upon us, our job is to come out here and cast down them lies. Not to come out here and do nothing to nobody. The Bible says the son of... Uh, he didn't come to destroy men's lives, he come to save men's lives. So that's the same thing we come to do. That's what we come to do. Now, what's your next question? No, we Israelite. You know what an Israelite is? Slow down. You know what an Israelite? You know what an Israelite is? If the word is in you, if the word is in you, then you display it in your everyday action. So me, without you reading that, the Bible says you got to walk circumstances. So without you reading that, if I walk up to you and talk to you, if I walk up to you, your, your energy will automatically display that to me, right? And I just automatically, I, I just, your energy should automatically display that to me, right? You right to so know it's just cool. cool. So check it out. Y'all ain't asking you to read, but I'm talking to you like a phone boy. I'm walking up to you. This one, I'm, I'm not saying that what you're saying is wrong. None of that. I'm asking... And, and state, I'm asking and stating that the way that y'all are spitting it out and how you say it, people won't receive it. Some people ain't gonna receive it how y'all kicking it. I you saying it's the law, it's right. this, it's that. That's I'm gonna show you that, bro. I understand what you're saying, saying bro. Now I'm gonna answer your question. Cool. I'm gonna answer that question. All these brothers receive it. All these but brothers these receive it. They might don't receive it. I'm gonna show you why. It ain't for everybody. I'm gonna show you why. I'm asking you how you get to that without dealing, without just Bible thumping. Just, just going to the Bible. And you got a good question. That's what I'm talking about. you got a good question. That's what I'm talking about. And people ask us that before. Now, I'm going to show you according to the Bible. I'm going to show you why. Read first. Um, I show you about my action. My action speaks. Right. I'm a giver. I take care of people. And just like you. I look out. I work. In order to. I'm a humble individual. Now, let me answer. I listen to you. Remember I told you over there. I was like, I ain't trying to battle you. See, we know the numbers. We want to understand. Yeah, so I mean, now let me ask. I understand what you asked. So now let me ask. This is why I always go to the Bible. Hold on, on before you answer that. In order for you to know if we're living by the Bible or if we follow the Bible, first you have to know it. Like, if I see somebody that say they know the Bible and they follow it, well, I know certain laws that I'll be able to see you keep them just by looking at you. This is how I'm able to tell whether you're telling the truth or not. So one of the things you will see is you will see a beard on it. Because there's a law that you're not supposed to shave your beard all the way off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Another thing I'm going to see is cringe because this is another law that's within the Bible. So this is how I'm going to know whether you're following it. Hold on, hold on, because I'm still answering you. Read that. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 4 and verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak of the oracles of God. He said, if any man speak, let him speak what? The oracles of God. This is why everything I'm speaking is going back to the Bible. I'm not going to use my own words. I'm going to tell you exactly what God said because that's how he commanded me. Keep reading. If any man minister, <laughs> let him do it at the ability which God gives. So I'm going to speak all through the ability that God gave me to speak. Now this is why we speak with a loud tone of voice. What you got? The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. Cry aloud! The Bible says cry aloud. Meaning speak loud. Teach loud with a loud voice. Read. Spare not! He says spare not. Just like you said, well, why y'all teaching like that? Or the sister got mad about how we teaching it? The Bible says spare not. Don't worry about how she feels because what we doing is we sound an alarm right now. This is an alarm. It's like a trumpet being blown when you read the Bible. Hold on, I ain't finished. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. See, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Why? So everybody can hear. Somebody might be listening down the street and they can hear. That's he right. said, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Read. And show my people. No, he said, show everybody. Show my people. Show the white man. Show my people. Show the Chinese man. My people. The Arab man. Show my people. He said, show my people. Read. Their transgressions. Their transgressions. Why? Why he said show my people? Because I'm the only people that God dealing with when you look in the Bible. He never said he dealt with all other nations. Even though he created them, he has a people that he sent to himself to give them the doctrine of life, which we have right here. That's it. In the house of Jacob, their sins. To show our people their sins. That's why we read loud like that. Christ taught the exact same way. 
Like, I mean, I understand what you're saying. But like I'm still saying, the tactical is the way to say it, regardless of what that say, it's still a way to it's still a way to it's still a way to come down to somebody's level to get them to understand without like when you talk to that, I can talk to you straight up because you're right. Like, but about. when we teaching it, nobody in front, yeah, I'm going to talk loud. Oh, when people I'm still trying to over talk us, I'm going to over talk. I'm going to talk loud that. because that's how we command every day way of life. But since general, you, your general tactfulness, I'm going to talk to you like, like we were talking about. That's the only thing I'm saying because it's people out here that ain't like me. See, I got my knowledge. But like y'all preaching to the people, I got my knowledge. Yeah, but is it true? I got my knowledge, my truth. I know, no, no, I know no, how to no, live no. right. I know how to live just. I know how to, I know how to treat people, bro. And, 19, and I can take that and I disciple, I disciple it for what I need it for. And but that's wrong. It, and I be I, it, I apply it to my life. I'm gonna use the old, you, I, I you, you said you referred to the Bible. I'm gonna use the Bible. I'm gonna use the same Bible that you referred to to prove you wrong. I treat this, I treat everybody the same way, bro. The same way. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Trust. It's not no, I believe this in the Bible. You believe that. He believed that. No, 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 no. That's not how the Bible works. It's only one interpretation of the Bible. You can't have something different because the Bible says one understanding. I'm going to show you. Hold on, hold on. Take your time. I'm going to show you. Read what you got. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Hold on. You're supposed to be trusting in everything the Lord says out of this book. Read. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Right. Lean not. You know it, but you're not doing it. Hold on. Read what you got. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 1 and verse 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. See, now this we have a more sure word of prophecy through these. Hold on, brother. Hold on, please. Hold on. We have a more sure word of prophecy. Read. Well, too, ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place.